If these singles couldn't find love on Too Hot to Handle, they definitely found love for their bank accounts because their net worth figures are no joke. Harry Jowsey. This former Australian farm boy reached millionaire status real quick with the help of his social media savvy skills. I've DM like Kourtney Kardashian, Kendall, I hit her with the hello my little butter chicken. He first got his big pot of cash when he went on the Aussie dating show Heartbreak Island where he won a $100,000 cash prize with his then girlfriend Georgia Briars. Harry also used to model for pretty big brands like Tommy Hilfiger. A year later he starred on Too Hot to Handle and became a fan fan favorite when he linked up with Francesca. Them staying to the very end won them a cash prize of $75,000 split amongst 10 people. $7,500 might not be a lot of money, but the fame he earned from the show got him a large following on social media, including $3.9 million on Instagram, $4.4 million on TikTok, where he reportedly earned approximately $600,000 from 58 ads. He also started an OnlyFans in February this year and is believed to be the highest male earner on the platform. On top of that, he started a podcast called Tap In and is involved with other business projects such as starting a dating app called Lolly, is a partner for an adult toy company, Oh Pleasures, as well as has an investment fund. This puts him at a net worth of around $4 million. It looks like staying single for this Too Hot to Handle star has really paid off. Francesca Farago. This Canadian beauty was rich to begin with, having boasted about being already a popular influencer with 300,000 followers on Instagram. This makes sense as she didn't really care about how much money she lost on the show. I hope I don't regret this decision. Now, after having made it to the end of the show as a fan favorite, not only did she receive the split prize money of $7,500, but she also garnered 5.6 million Instagram followers and over 3 million fans on TikTok, making her the most popular contestant. In the beginning, she had modeling assignments working with brands like Misha Swim, Revolve, and Fashion Nova. It's estimated that she has made $950,000 from 82 ads. Now, this Canadian beauty launched her own ethical clothing line called Farago the Label that sells swimsuits for both men and women. This puts her total net worth at $2 million. I'm in shock right now. Like, this is crazy. Rhonda Paul. This entrepreneur and single mom made her debut on the show in season one, where she formed a strong connection with Sharon Townsend. This led her to be one of the 10 castmates to split the prize money of $7,500. While the relationship didn't last, she found success as a businesswoman who owns her own jewelry and hair company, Pure Lux. She also models for various other brands. Moreover, her time on the show led her to earn an Instagram following of 978,000. This puts her at the net worth of $1.2 million. Kells Dyke. As the contestant who cared the most about not losing money, he sure knows how to save in real life as well. It just cost me three holidays, three nights in the resort. Before his time on the show, he played football for the London Warriors. He also worked as a professional trainer before landing a job as a consultant at a recruitment agency. Now, he does many sponsorship posts for his 600,000 plus Instagram followers. All of this garnered him a net worth of $1 million. Looks like this self-proclaimed accountant knows a thing or two about making a profit. <gasps> Haley Curitan. She may have been the villain of season one, but she did garner enough attention to gain 600,000 followers on Insta. Haley constantly posts partnership ads with either Fashion Nova or Pretty Little Thing. The Florida native may have lost the prize money after being booted off by Lana, but that really didn't affect her net worth all that much as it now stands at $550,000. Sharon Townsend. This 27-year-old had a relationship with Rhonda, which helped him win $7,500. His career beforehand consisted of everything expected of an attractive individual. He was a personal trainer, a professional kids wrestling coach, a model, and a TV star. Townsend is no stranger to TV as he was the winner of Mr. Pennsylvania and was featured in MTV Undressed in 2017. This puts him at a net worth of $450,000. Chloe Veach. This star must be a favorite amongst producers. This earned her a following of 1.9 million on Instagram, and she made around $260,000 from 61 ads. What is going on? Plus, she earned that $7,500 bonus on Too Hot to Handle and even got to host its season two reunion episode. You might not know this, but she actually began her career as a model in Top Model UK in 2018 and appeared in London Fashion Week. That's one girl who knows how to turn her assets into a large cash flow. Her net worth is estimated to be around $400,000. They have to 
earn my yoni. Cam Holmes. This attractive nerd, as he likes to call himself, may not have won the grand prize money, but that doesn't seem to affect him too much as he garnered 1.7 million Instagram followers instead, making him a fan favorite from the second season. Since then, Cam has continued on with his modeling career and earned some income as a private fitness trainer, as well as being an actor. He also started a YouTube channel where he answers Q&As. However, even though he has this newfound fame, Cam doesn't post all too much on Instagram, so his net worth stands at about $200,000 to $400,000. But he found love with Emily, so we guess that's worth way more than money can buy. Emily Miller this 27-year-old Brit is the most followed from season two, having gathered two million followers and 1.4 million TikTok fans. Like her boo, she is also a working model. She posts a lot of fashion ads from brands like Fashion Nova and Opali. This puts her at a net worth of about 200 to $400,000. Carly Lawrence. This Canadian bombshell may have had a tumultuous time on the show, but she did earn adoration from fans. Her Instagram following consists of 1.4 million followers while garnering 880 thousand fans on TikTok. Carly works as a model and is a brand representative for companies like Jaclyn Cosmetics, Sherry Hill, and Kvar. She also started an OnlyFans account as well and has a podcast, which puts her at a net worth of around $200,000 to $300,000. Peter Vigilante Bad Boy Peter was already TikTok famous before going on the show, but his likability coming off it along with a public relationship with Melinda has put his following over the top at over 3.5 million now and half a million Instagram followers. His content consists of fitness training and a few ads here and there that put his net worth around two to three hundred thousand dollars. Marvin Anthony. This Parisian native was the only one to receive the fifty-five thousand dollar grand prize. His good looks helped him get his side gigs as a model and an actor and gained 1.5 million followers on Instagram. Although he doesn't post that many sponsorship ads, but you know he's wealthy because he constantly travels back and forth between LA and France. His six foot four height came in handy when he played semi-professional basketball and according to LinkedIn, started his own company in April of 2019. This puts his net worth at around one to three hundred thousand dollars. Lad, I'm sorry, but like, this is so good. Corey Sampson. Although coming in halfway through season one, Corey became one of the most popular contestants, having gathered a following of 800,000 Instagram followers. His athletic body proves to be a real moneymaker, as he is able to partner up with many clothing, food, and fitness brands. The reality star also launched an ebook called My Lean Lifestyle and sells training programs throughout his website. This puts him at a net worth of around $250,000. Chase Demore. This football player didn't leave with love, but he did leave with with a new career as an aspiring influencer. If you have been lurking any of the Too Hot to Handle contestants' pages, you'd likely see Chase in the comments trying to get clout. It looks like his hard work has paid off as he's garnered 910,000 followers on Instagram and over 2 million on TikTok. His athletic career consists of playing for the Arizona Rattlers and the Montreal Alouettes. Plus, he's on OnlyFans. These income streams put him at a net worth of about $250,000. Melinda. This New York model has boasted a large following of 1 million on Instagram. Plus, her career as a high fashion model puts her at a net worth of about $200,000. It looks like being hot does pay off. Whose net worth were you most surprised by? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you want to stay up to date on the latest reality TV news, and we'll see you next time on The Things Reality.